Well, the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan is in the Hawaiian water, is taking part in RIMPAC exercises. And KITV4's Dick Allgaier and re photographer Sunny Ahuna got to spend two full days and a night on board that ship due to circumstances beyond their control. <laughs> but it sure gave them a personal view of life on board a carrier during war games. We're heading out to conduct flight operations, and I'll have an amazing report coming up. I didn't realize at the time how amazing. So for five hours, we toured the ship and watched the complex flight operations. We watched sailors control the massive ship from the bridge, listened to the captain telling crew members to step it up. Uh, the red shirt's over to 11. Let's go. Float coats, cranials. See communication. We interviewed an admiral. We watched fighter jets blast off the flight deck. Then it was time to go home, or so we thought. We were expecting to fly 50 miles back to Oahu aboard a Navy helicopter. The helicopter had a mechanical problem, and we made an emergency landing back aboard the ship. And there we were stuck for two days. The plane coming out to fly us home the next day had to turn back to Pearl Harbor because of mechanical problems. Bob Hogue writes for Midweek Magazine. I definitely... Uh Got to find out what the military's true meaning of the word snafu is. We quickly learned that an aircraft carrier at sea during war games is a busy, noisy place at night. 24-7, they just uh, go and go and go. Their, uh, their state of readiness and efficiency is unquestioned. Um, and just the fact that it's like a city. And in a city, you can get yourself uh, lost and turned around and practically upside down. It was quite a remarkable experience. We were given VIP rooms, spacious by Navy standards. This is the passageway near our rooms. It's easy to get hopelessly lost. How's this for an alarm clock? About the time we were hoping for breakfast, the ship went to general quarters for a simulated biological weapon attack. Everyone in the crew was wearing gas masks, but still doing their jobs. My memories will be of noise, the smell of jet fuel and exhaust, and a lot of waiting around in cramped spaces. Two days aboard the most lethal warship in the world, 250 miles off Oahu. And that was Dick Allgaier reporting, and they truly are just floating cities. The ship will be conducting exercises off Oahu through the end of July. Sailors stay on board that ship for months at a time during deployment. Dick was glad to get home to his own bed after just two days.